Hey there Dev Squad, Virtus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 user interface development series. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at how we can place objects within our widget. Now what we're going to be doing is taking some of the most basic types of objects such as text and images and taking a look at some of the settings that we need to keep in mind to make sure that our objects are going to be displayed on the screen the way that we want to. So that's going to be everything from anchoring, position, size, Z order, and don't worry if you don't know what that means just yet as we will be explaining it, um, but all of this stuff is going to apply to any object that you uh, sort of dump in here. So for those of you that don't know what an object is when it, uh, when it comes to widgets, it's essentially just anything that you're going to pull out of your palette. So things like buttons, images, text, progress bars, and so on. Now there is loads and loads of different types of objects. What I'm not going to do is go over each and every single one of these and explain what they are. If you just hover over these, you can see exactly what they are. Now most of these we will be using throughout the series, um, but for now in today's video, we're just going to be taking a look at the simple ones and some of the settings that are going to apply to any kind of object. So. Let's start off by taking an image and dragging it into our scene. So just go to your palette, grab an image, drag and then drop anywhere that you want to place it. Now once we've got this in here, probably the first thing that you're going to do is resize it. And there is two ways you can do it. You've got these little points around your image and you can just drag these to scale it up, down, left, right and all of that good stuff. Or you can also do it in the details panel on the right hand side. And you can see here we've got size X and we've also got size Y. So size X is your width. So if I wanted to, I could set my width to 600 and then I could also set my Y to 600 as well. So if my width and my height are both 600, it's gonna be a perfect square. And what I can also do is move this just by clicking and dragging it. And what you can see is happening as I do that, my position is also changing. And if I wanted to, I could define a position in here, such as zero and zero. And what it's gonna do now is move it to the anchor point, to the zero point for the anchor. Now, for those of you that don't know what the anchor is, it is essentially sort of where it's trying to stick that object to. So in this case, it's trying to stick it into the top left hand corner. So you can see here, we've got this little icon here, the little flower looking thing, that is our anchor point. So your position is essentially relative to your anchor point. So you can see right now, it is offset by 684 on the width, an offset by 232 on the height. Now, ideally, you are going to be trying to group some of your elements together and keep them within the same anchor points. So for example, if you've got a health bar in the bottom middle of the screen, you are going to want to anchor that to the bottom middle of the screen so it stays there. And anything that you have around that health bar that you want to have its position stay relative to that, then you need to make sure you anchor it all in the same place. Now you'll see this come to life a little bit later on in the series, but what I'm going to do for now is to show you how to change your anchor point. So changing your anchor point, you could either drag it uh, and then just place it somewhere else just by grabbing the little middle bit, or you can use one of the presets in the details panel. So at the top here, we've got our anchors. So if you click anchors, we've got some presets. So we can anchor something to the middle of the screen, the bottom center, the full, uh, you know, full screen, uh, left hand side, right hand side, and so on. And really, like I said, you want to anchor it depending on what you're trying to put on your widget. So if you've got a health bar at the bottom, anchor it to the bottom. If you're trying to do a crosshair, which needs to be perfectly in the center, anchor it to the center. So like I said, if you are trying to do a crosshair, for example, then you are going to need to anchor it into the center of your screen. You can do this just by choosing one of the anchors and then just choosing the center, for example. 
and notice there position x and position y has now changed so it's relative to this. Now the reason why even though this is sort of perfectly centered in your screen and the reason why it's saying minus 300 and minus 300 it's because the root point of this image is in the top left. If I was to set my position x and y to 0 and 0 you can see it has moved over here. But anyway guys that's pretty much everything for anchors. I don't want to go too into detail in that for just now but it's essentially what your object is going to be attached to. So moving on from there let's take a look at another setting which is the Z order. Now the Z order if you hover over it it does explain exactly what it is. The order priority this widget is rendered in. Higher values are rendered last and so they will appear on top. So essentially what this is going to do is allow you to control which objects should be on top of or below each other. So let's say I go ahead and grab a text object and drag it into my scene. Now with this text what I'm going to do is just quickly select it, go to my color and opacity and just change it to a different color and press OK. If I put this over my square here you can see it is currently rendered on top. But what if I wanted the square to be on top? That is where your Z order is going to come in. So at the moment my text block has a Z order value of 0. If I select my image and then higher values are rendered last and they'll appear on top. So if I set my image to 1 you can see it's now come on top and it's almost like layering just defining and telling the engine which object should be at which height level essentially so what should be rendered on top. So that is pretty much everything for the main settings and pretty much any object you bring within your scene is going to have a size, a position, an anchor point and the Z order and you guys have got to make sure you use these carefully to make sure everything goes in the way that you want. All of the settings beneath this are going to be related to the type of object you're working with. So for the text you've got your color and opacity, you've got the size of your text, you've got the font family, your shadow and a bunch of other stuff and if you guys want to you can experiment with that. You can change the color of your text, the font, the size and all of that good stuff. With the image Inside of here you have got the appearance of the image. Now in here we've got a little image panel. If you haven't already expanded your brush go and do that and then in here what we can do is choose a texture to apply to this. So if I click the little drop down and type in crosshair and what we have as part of the first person template is a crosshair and you can see after choosing this it's now gone from white to this texture. Now if you guys want to use your own images that you've made inside of like Photoshop for your heads up display or main menu or whatever I'm going to be showing you how you can import these into the engine as a texture later on so that you can do this. But for now hopefully you guys can see just how you go about placing an image in your scene. Within here you can also change the size x and y like I showed you earlier the image size over here is the size of the actual texture and what I wouldn't advise doing is going and changing that because it's not really going to do anything because the size X and Y up at the top is going to override that. So hopefully you guys are starting to see how all of this is coming together and are starting to work with widgets a little bit better. Anyway guys that's pretty much everything in uh, for today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it but for now guys once again thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Virtus signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.